Today we at Scandatech will show you how to replace the battery in the iPhone 5. Let's begin by taking a look at our battery kit with the included tools. So we'll just open this up. Inside the box here we have a thank you for choosing Scandatech. We really do appreciate your business. Next we'll open this layer up. Inside here we have a Torx screwdriver for removing the screws out of the bottom of the phone. We have a pry tool for assisting with removing some of the connectors. We have another plastic spudger pry tool. We have a tweezers which will assist with various procedures during this video. Let's remove another layer. We have a Phillips screwdriver which will be used for removing some of the internal screws. Let's remove another layer. Here we have a suction cup for assisting with opening the screen. Here we have a battery designed for the iPhone 5 inside an electrostatic discharge safe plastic bag. We remove this. We also have the adhesive for refasting the battery inside here. So now that we've gotten ourselves familiar with the tools, let's get to the battery replacement itself. We want to begin by saying, as with any hardware replacement, complications can arise, but if following this guide and our text guide with pictures, which can be found on our website, with patience, we'll walk you through the process step by step. We recommend listening to the whole video without skipping any steps as we highlight potential difficulties. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your device is powered off. So go ahead and power that off first. So let's begin by using the Torx screwdriver and removing these two screws right here on the bottom. First we're going to remove this one right here. Pull that out and set it to the side. Remove the second one and set that to the side. The next what we will need is to use our suction cup here and what we want to do is we want to set it down like this and you want to set it as close to the home button as possible but not right on the home button because you won't get good suction if you go right on the home button so you'll want to just push it down make sure that it's sealed good as close to the home button as possible Then we want to grab it and pull and see if it starts separating right in here if it comes apart kinda of hard this iPhone 5 has really tight tolerances around the frame here what you can do is you can carefully stick the tweezers in here and just rock it a little bit like this now make sure to stick it between the screen frame and the metal frame, not between the glass and the frame. There's a little gap right there. See this little notch right here? It's right above the headphone jack, essentially. So you can just get that started. And then I'd like to recommend using this plastic pry tool that's here. And just gently work your way across at the same time as you're still applying a little pressure on the suction cup tool to assist. Once we have a gap here, we can keep pulling up with the suction cup. Carefully prying up a little along the frame with this plastic pry tool on both sides if necessary until it starts letting loose. Once you get it that loose, then we can go ahead and remove the suction cup tool by pulling up on this little part that sticks up right here. Just grab that and that releases the suction cup tool. So now that we have this loose, what we can do is turn the phone this way and carefully pull up. Don't pull up too far past the 90 degrees right here. So what we need to do next is we need to use this Phillips screwdriver that was provided in the kit and we need to remove these two screws right here. So let's go ahead and remove these. Now you want to lay the screws out in the right order so you know how they go back together. Then we want to grab this plate and set it off to the side with them. And then what we want to do is we want to disconnect the battery right here by prying up on this connector right here. The next we want to unpack our new battery and set it right down on here. We want to test the battery. So we want to set it on top of the new one. We want to go ahead and reconnect the new battery right here where the old one is connected. And we want to lay the screen down like this. Then we want to turn the phone on and test the battery. See how it's telling me I need to plug the phone in? So in my example where the battery is too low to turn the phone on, what you need to do is just set the screen on top, plug the phone in. It doesn't hurt to plug the phone in with the screen not together. If the battery is completely discharged. It could take up to 15 minutes of charging before anything is shown on the screen. Make sure you charge your battery to at least 3% before turning it off. That way you know that it's working good. So what you can do then once you're done, you can just shut it off in whatever screen you're in since you can't access the home button. And we'll just go ahead and shut the phone off. So then once we know that the phone is shut off, let's go ahead and lift this up again. Don't tip it more than 90 degrees. Then what we're going to do is just go ahead and disconnect this battery right here, the new battery. And we'll pull that out of there. We have three options that we can do at this point. So you can keep holding the phone at a 90 degrees like this with one hand while proceeding to remove the battery with the other. But it's quite difficult because the battery is held in with strong adhesive. And one hand isn't usually enough to get the job done. The second thing that you could do is you could lean this up against a book or something, this front LCD assembly, as long as there's not too much tension on these cables right here. There's a chance of slipping and tearing the cables. If you want to do this step, what you would do is use something like a book. I'm just going to use this for demonstration. Use a book or something heavy that it can lean against. And you don't want to lean it too far. The third step that we recommend, and this is by far the most common and the one that we recommend of the three, and that is to completely remove the LCD screen here. 
So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So first what you're going to want to do is use your Phillips screwdriver like this and you're going to want to remove these three screws right here in this plate right here. So let's go ahead and remove these three screws. If the screws don't want to come out you can just grab them with the tweezers. Now to make sure to keep these off to the side in the order that you know that they go back in because they're a different size. Remove the second screw. Remove the third screw. Now this whole time you want to not have this tip too far up and 90 degrees is about all you want to do. Then what we want to do is we want to grab this shield right here. When you're picking it out of there if you can slide that way just a little bit to the left as you pull it out of there because it has little notches there. So set that off to the side. Then what we're going to do is use our plastic pry tool and we're going to remove this connector right here. Let's go ahead and remove this connector next. And then back in here, you want to remove that connector next. And then this whole LCD screen lifts right off of here. Next, what we will want to do to remove the battery here, keep in mind there's a volume flex cable that runs right along the top of the battery here. It goes over to these buttons right here. So right in this section here, we can't pry in here at all. You can only pry from here down. What we recommend doing is if you flip the phone over on this side right here, you can heat right here. You can use like a hair dryer or heat gun like this. I'm just going to use a hair dryer. And what you can do is heat right here on this back part right here. Don't heat on this side because of the logic board here. Only heat on this side right here where the battery is. And don't do too much at a time. Do like 5 or 10 seconds. Don't let it get too hot to the touch. Just try it a little bit. From the factory they have this little tab here that you can pull to pull the battery up. But a lot of times this one just tears. So what we recommend doing, if you use your tweezers that was supplied in the kit here, Make sure that you do all your prying from this side only, from the volume buttons and down. Don't do any prying at all on this side with the logic board or on these ends here. Just use the top part of this. After you heat this up, then what you can do is just sneak down in here and leverage this up using the tweezers like this. If you get underneath it, once it gets loose, then you can just carefully pry up. Just watch so you don't scratch anything here, but just carefully pry up with this. If you need to, you can apply a little more heat a couple times, then the battery just lifts right out of there. If your adhesive is in good condition, you didn't damage it at all and it's still nice and sticky, you can just reuse this adhesive. If not, you can reuse the adhesive provided in the kit right here. And you can just use the tweezers and carefully remove this old adhesive here. You can even apply a little heat on the back side if you need to to get it out. And our kit includes this part here, the, the middle part here, and also all the adhesive here. And you can just carefully peel this off of the plastic film that's on here and stick it down in here right where these were. As you can see, mine's in nice condition, so I'm not going to have to do that. I just wanted to show you how you would do that in the event that yours needs to be replaced as well. So to reinstall your new battery, just grab your battery. We'll set it right down in here. Should just fit nicely in there with a little bit of room all the way around. Don't crowd the logic board too much. Just kind of sets in there nicely. Press it down. We're going to wait to connect it for now. We're just going to make sure that it's pressed down well. To reconnect the LCD screen here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with this first connector right here, the big one. I'm going to set it down in here. So reconnect that first one, make sure it's seated down in there nicely. Then they just go right in order. Reconnect that one. Then let's reconnect this one here. Make sure they're all seated in there nicely. If you happen to disconnect any of these other connectors right here, check them, make sure that they're down at this time. I'm going to grab this plate and set it down in here. Make sure to stay on this side of these little metal parts that stick up underneath there because they have to slide in over into that to latch. So you have to kind of push down and over to the right to get them to latch in there. Then you may need to hold this down. This finger here while you grab a screw. Now it doesn't matter which screw you do, but I recommend doing this one down here, the middle one of the three. Just go ahead and put that in. And then that holds the plate nice and secure. Go ahead and put this screw in. This screw towards the top isn't magnetized, so we have to set that in with the tweezers or something. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. Next we're ready to reconnect the battery. So just go ahead and reconnect that. Make sure that it's tucked down in beside the battery there. Then we can grab the plate and set it right down on there. Then we can grab the screw. I'd recommend putting the middle one in first. Go ahead and put that in. Before you tighten it all the way, make sure that this one's lined up here. And let's go ahead and put this one in. Then you can retighten this middle one here all the way. Next we'll just go ahead and set this down carefully. Now what we need to do is we need to pick up the screen like this. You can see I'm doing it, just tipping it up slightly. We need to get this top in first and then we can just start working our way down. 
and have it snap in. Check it all the way, make sure that it's the reveal is the same all the way around. Then if your fingers can't grab them, you can grab the tweezers and put these screws in. Just set them in there. And using a Torx screwdriver, let's go ahead and tighten these in. All the way, be careful not to strip them out. And you can turn your phone on and test your battery. Thanks for watching.